figured we'd do a, a video about uh, maybe show you some workouts that I'm doing. Um, and today it is sunny, so we are going outside to do some working out. We're going to do some high inter uh, high intensity interval training. Whenever I can get outside and work out, it's better. I, I think anyway, I'm outside breathing, getting some sunlight, all good. So we're at the track. I'm gonna mix it up 10 minutes, uh, skipping rope and then hanging 30 second intervals. And when I'm skipping rope, I wanna skip as fast as I can. I wanna get my heart rate up almost like sprinting. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna hang for, 30, uh, for 10 minutes. 30 seconds at a time, skipping, hanging for 10 minutes. Then I'll do a little walk, get my heart rate down again. Then I'll do um, some skipping and some abdominal core stuff. And then walk a little bit more and then do some more skipping and get into a, um, a burpee type situation to get my heart rate real up. So I'd like to do uh, 30 seconds skipping and then about three or four high intensity jump burpees I like to call them and um yeah we're gonna get after it get outside no gym it's it's all right. so what I like to do is get my headphones on do a couple laps uh get warmed up listen to some music and then we'll we'll see it so here's how we start we started with a couple laps around the track it's a beautiful day in late October it's nice to be outside try and take advantage of this every time I can I got the day off All right, that's the first round done. Uh, I start skipping for one minute and then I break it up into 30 second intervals, 30 seconds for one minute skipping. Then I hang for 30 seconds, just a static hang. Um, if you follow Peter Atia, one of the fit guys, the fit doctors, drive podcast anyway, he's saying you can measure your health and your longevity by the amount of time you can hang on a bar. So. It's not my back day, it's just stretching out everything. So I hang for 30 seconds and then I do some speed skipping. I try and get my heart rate up as high as possible. It kind of fluctuates because you know, you get a little tired. Ready for round two. We're gonna do one minute skip, then 30 seconds of some abs and 30 seconds skipping for 10 minutes. That's round two done. We're going to do one more. This one is the high and high and high, 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 high intensity one. Burpees, skipping rope. And we're doing a lap in between just to get our heart rate back down. Time for round three, 30 second skip, and then three speed jumping burpees. Ten minutes of that and we're uh, on our way we got our heart rate way up that's good and now we're gonna do another lap and then uh, get into some of my leg uh, stretches and maybe some knees over toes now it's time to do uh, work on our on our hip mobility actually because my hips are pretty tight we're doing some knees over toes and, and this is to prove to my uncle Steve that and keep telling him to do this stuff forever and I do it too so I'm walking backwards and then we'll get into it
So we have three rounds, skipping rope with some combinations of hanging, some ab work, and then the three power burpees. And then I did some knees over toes, ankle mobility, knee mobility, and I'm, I've got really tight hips. Obviously, probably, well, most likely from sitting down and um, driving all the time. And you know, it's not good to be in a seated position. I, I would think it's not very natural. So my, hip, my hips tend to be tight. So that was why, you know, walking backwards helps my knees. And I'm gonna tell you honestly, guys, like uh, 47 years old, I work a pretty physical job and uh, my energy is always stable. I've got, I haven't eaten today, so I did all that fasted. Um, and that's how I wor at work too. So I'm, I'm probably gonna eat in a couple hours. I'm not really hungry. Um, and you know, that, that comes down to why you work out in the first place. I mean, you can only do what you can do. And I, I honestly see a lot of people, I think overreaching at first. And you know, it's good to ease into something Movement is key, and I think, to be honest with you, unless you're training for a specific purpose or a goal, specifically for that, tailoring your training for that, is probably the way to go. If it's just general maintenance, you know, you want to move. If you can't move, if you're sore, you want to work towards it. It's good to, you know, start walking, start moving. You know, um, also what I've noticed is everybody that I've, I'm coaching, as soon as they start getting more energy, as soon as they stop being tied down to junk food and crap, they all start working out just naturally, like they just wanna move. So, you know, one of the guys that I'm coaching, and Dave, shout out to you, man, I'm, I'm proud of you. You know, I think you, you, you get, you start feeling energy and you start feeling better. It just inspires you to move more, which is human. It's human nature to move. And I think that's what it comes down to. I think you gotta move fast once in a while and you gotta lift some heavy shit once in a while. Other than that, just moving, getting your lymph move, circulating and blood flow and vascular and breathing, it's all tied together. So, you know, you don't have to be an elite athlete or go from zero to hero. Just start slow, start moving, start eating properly. That'll get you better sleep. You start breathing better and everything sort of falls into place. I'm 47 years old. I've turned my health completely 180 compared to three, four years ago. I couldn't walk up the stairs. And now, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I can't wait to get out and get my oxygen and get outside. All right, guys, thanks for uh, coming with me on this uh, sort of uh, autumn workout day. And, you know, thank you to everybody to, that subscribes to the channel, all the new guys. Thank you very much for joining us. We're questioning everything they ever said. This is Anthony Stewart. This is Food for Thought. Please like and subscribe. And if you can, if this is going to inspire or help anybody, um, you know, share it. All right, guys, stay strong.